everybody, Mr. Mike here with the Xbox One March Update Preview, where I'm going to go through the features that you will currently or eventually be getting in your March updates at the pretty much the end of March, maybe beginning of April, depending on if you have your updates uh, on and you have your, you know, your power settings to be on, you know, when you go into low power state, when you shut down your Xbox Ones and you can update while it's asleep. So this is the stuff that's coming out f for March. And here we go. We got a whole bunch of stuff right here. First thing, purchase Xbox 360 backwards compatible games from your Xbox One, which is a really big feature that a lot of people have want, uh, wanted. I know I'm one of them. And it also comes with another better option. So I'm right here already in the store part of the thing under the category where you get your games with gold. Meaning I can get my Xbox games with gold here for free and that's when I usually download them. But now, look, there's a category here for get more with gold or Xbox 360 games with gold. And they're showing Supreme Commander 2 purchase. But if you click on it, it'll take you to the store and it'll say you can purchase it. Even though I'm already installing it and it's already 86%. But you can now get and purchase Xbox 360 titles that are backwards compatible, mind you, on your Xbox One store. So if I go into the store, and I got to go out of this, I guess, and we go over to the store here, you're going to find a category if you scroll down, and I think I'm in the store. I was in the store. I don't know why. Uh, I got to go click in-game store. Excuse me. Now that I'm in the game store, if you scroll on down in through the game store, and I don't know why. Oh, uh, there we go. The store is acting really funny right now as I'm doing this uh, video. As you scroll down, you will get to a section called backwards compatible or backwards compatible Xbox 360 games. And these are all the current Xbox 360 games that are backwards compatible on your Xbox One from the 360. And if you don't own one of these and you want to purchase one, like I don't own Star Wars The Complete Saga, definitely. I did, but I don't own it here. I could purchase it right here now from my Xbox One. I don't have to purchase it if I go to show price and all that. I don't have to purchase it no longer on the 360 or on my PC to purchase this. See, I can buy it for $19.99 plus tax, and I can click continue to purchase this from the Xbox One store now, which I think is pretty damn neat, and it's going to be a big help, even though in this Xbox One store and my Supreme Commander 2 has just finished, I think that I hope it's going to be more organized, you know, because there's going to be a lot more backwards compatible titles and already a lot of people complain about the regular games here on the Xbox One store of not being as organized as possible. Even though we got some game demos here, finally, we got now you can play game demos in here. So it does it, to me, it seems like it's a little bit better. But I know there's a lot of people that want it even better and even better. And I know you don't get your your arcade games as a list here in the Xbox One store. But you know what? You got to deal with some things out there. But now, folks, we can purchase 360 games on the Xbox One store from your Xbox One console. And not just from your PC or 360. So that's one way of making something even better. And that's not the only thing that we are getting for the updates here on our Xbox Ones. The next thing, and this is a thing I'm not going to be able to test uh, because I would have to just have a game started and I'd have to actually do a, a stream and stuff and I don't really want to do that right now. And plus, I don't have anybody else on uh, in my party right now. I got nobody in my party right now. And that would be now uh, or soon for you guys. You can include party chat in Twitch broadcasts. Uh, for the Xbox One, members will be able to broadcast party chat when using the Twitch app. If you are broadcasting from your console and are in a party, you can invite people to include their chat audio in your broadcast. If a member of your party 
of the clients, they will still be able to chat within your party, but they will not be heard in the broadcast, which I think is really sweet and a neat feature. Additionally, as a party leader, you have the option to mute any party member's audio chat, even if they have opted into your broadcast. So that's a nice feature right there. Um, you'll also be able to include party members from Windows 10 PCs in your Twitch broadcast. So basically, you're getting a wide variety of options while you're doing party chats and playing online. And if you want, like to be streaming on Twitch, this is one of those cool things for you guys that s stream your games on Twitch and are in big parties. Like if you're playing maybe that new game, The Division, and you got a group of people and you're all talking, you want to talk about stuff in your video, well, there you go. If you're playing some multiplayer games, there you go. Now, the only problem I think, which I'm still hoping for down the road, is that Microsoft and Google uh, actually make kiss and make up eventually, and that YouTube Live and the gaming YouTube Live gaming section will be able to be on the Xbox One eventually, so you can start streaming your Xbox One games via YouTube Live and not just through the Twitch store or the Twitch app. Because I don't like Twitch as much as YouTube Live. So, there you go. Um, next. Next, which I think is a really good option. You can output your party chat um, to a headset and speakers simultaneously. So, you'll be able to select the preference for where the party chat audio is heard via their headset, speakers, or both to do so. You just go to settings, which I'm going to go to settings right here, right now. You're going to go to display and sound. Then you're going to go to audio output. Or not audio output, excuse me. <laughs> uh, excuse me, uh, volume, sorry. I got that mixed up with that. And you could go to chart party chat output, and then you could choose or both, which... You would think that would have been a feature, uh, a long said feature a long time ago, but apparently it wasn't. So now you got the ability to have your party chat through your speakers and your headset. For me, I use the Connect, so I use the Connect, uh, basically the audio coming out of my speakers anyways, and I use the Connect to talk, so I don't really use a headset. Um, customizable. Game DVR recording life. Good thing I'm in the settings here because I'm going to show you guys. You can now, which I still think it's still underutilized. You can now pick a longer, which I'm trying to find here. Where is it? Uh, where is it? I'm trying to find it right here. Uh, let me think about Ah, there we go. Game DVR and streaming. Now, if you go to settings... You go to game DVR and streaming. You can now set the record length of your clips on your game DVR. So when you go record that on your Xbox One, you can make it from 30 seconds to 45 seconds to a minute, three minutes, or up to five minutes. Which, you know what, I'm going to go up to five minutes because I'm like that. I wish you would be able to go farther than that. I can understand if they think you might not have enough recording space, but... I think they should have it where it can detect on what kind of hard drive you're using or if you're using the internal or external uh, hard drive of the Xbox One and you should be able to make it even longer than 5 minutes. Because if I want to record like a gameplay video, maybe 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, hour, maybe longer. I wish it would go longer than that. But I guess they figure people only record 5 minutes at a time. I'm not one of those people. I'm not one of those people. I record hours at a time. But, you know, this is better than nothing, and you can always stitch together all the five-minute clips to make a very long video. So I'm keeping that on five minutes because I'm one of those people that if I want to see more stuff coming up on the screen and I feel like, ooh, I, oh, I wish I had longer time to record all that, now I have that ability. You have that ability. So all you go to is a preferences, game DVR, and streaming, and you'll be able to make your... Uh, recordings up to five minutes so I think that's a pretty cool feature so we're gonna get out of this out of settings we're gonna go over the sidebar 
Now, if I had a game open, which I think I should just launch a game anyways. Here, I'll launch. Ugh. Should I launch? Um, let's see. Let's. I'll launch Just Cause 3. Why not? It's going to take a little while to launch, so I, I think this was the wrong game for me to... Uh, but the next thing that you, we're all getting, or you guys are getting after this update, is you can track your achievement progress in your Xbox One guide. And I don't have to have this fully uh, operational. But you can go into your Xbox One guide here and a che uh, uh, check your achievement progress um, in the Xbox One guide in the new achievements area you will find a quick link to see all your achievements and you will be able to track your achievement progress in real time directly from the guide without having to snap a separate achievements app so basically if I go over here and I go to the achievements section which now that we have it more updated, as you can see here, I have all these things in uh, Just Cause 3. These Because I launched the game, I can track stuff like all my achievements, what I have, what are locked, and how long, how far I am to get, grab in each achievement. Like I'm 47% to Chaos is my middle name. Um... 13 liberate 13 settlements i'm at 38 percent on that for 20 percent chaos millionaire get 100 get what is that three get 1 million is that 1 million i can't see all the zeros i got a weird thing thing that it's hard for me to look at numbers while i'm on the screen i think i think that's 1 million <laughs> chaos and i could get 45 achievos but that's pretty cool so i don't have to go and snap on the achieve it achievement list it's right here in the guide where i can go right over check all my achievements and do all that stuff so that's pretty sweet that's a pretty sweet thing another great thing which for most of us that like to record videos or if you like to see your friends videos after they do some you know much needed gameplay and they do a funny thing or they got something really cool that they've recorded recently in their clips well I recorded some clips, and now you'll be able to just go to your feed, your activity feed, and watch the clip directly here. See, I didn't have to push anything. It just loaded up, and you can see it in the feed. And then if you just want to watch it, just click it once. It brings it up in all its full audio glory, and you can see the clip that I have game DVR'd on my Xbox One and share it to all of you guys in the activity feed. So you can view it there, you can view it there, and it you don't have to even click on it to view the clips. If you don't want to even bother to hear the sound, there you go. That's that's what you can do right there. And you can even click to like it too. So if I want to like one of my videos, I'll just click it. Look, I liked I liked this video. I like this video too because they're both cool videos that I made of uh, my character in Just Cause 3. So video feedback directly in your Xbox One activity feed. I think it's pretty sweet. And you can always, by pressing X, you can make it full screen as well. So if I go click here and I go to X, if I click here, I can make it full screen. And then I can make it smaller and then I could just get out of it. Very easy, very simple. So both things coming to both uh, the Xbox One preview and the Xbox app from Windows 10. Uh, we're also going to be getting 16-person party chat. So I can have 16 people in a party chat on the Xbox on my Xbox One here and Windows 10 app. So if you go into party and I set, it, I set a party, I can have up to 16 people in that party chat. Xbox 360 achievements in the Xbox One and Xbox app activity feeds. So if I played an Xbox 360 game, which I didn't, I haven't, I've only played like a Windows 10 game, which right here you can see my 20 point achievement in passing the time with Minecraft and Windows 10 beta, you will be able to see those achievements as well, which I don't think I have any 360 achievements on here, sadly. Um... Does anybody on my friends list have any 360 achievements? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, this is Windows 10. 
But if I did have a 360 achievement, you know, how about this? This is Grand Theft Auto. That's on Xbox One. You would be able to see them right here in the activity feed. So just take my word for it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't unlock a 360 achievement for this video. Uh, follow web links and YouTube videos from Game Hub. So if you go into the Game Hubs, like if I click into here, I go to Game Hub and Just Cause 3. You can see and store. You can follow uh, community managers and game hubs will not be able to populate game hubs with web and YouTube hyperlinks, making the game hubs experience even more interactive and engaging for gamers for Xbox One preview members, which is me. Web links will display in a browser via the Edge app, and YouTube links will open up the YouTube app for the Xbox App beta links will open in your default web browser as with other items in your activity feed. You can caption, like, comment on, and share these links. Which is, you know, if you're like a person that likes social media a lot and you like to share a whole bunch of leak links and stuff, well, that's right up your alley, I guess. For me, I probably won't be doing too much of that. Compare your avatars. This is a, something that uh, I guess a few people wanted. Compare your avatar. So let me go into the avatar section here. Let's go into a friend that's on the council right now. Let's go to my friend James. You know, he's always watching Netflix. He always says he wants to play a game with me. He always says his avatar is better than mine. Well, how about if I want to compare? Let me go into this. Let's go to view profile. Profile. I hope he doesn't mind. Uh, there's his uh, James Baines in this, as we can see here. We're going to go to more, and we're not going to block them, but we're going to compare avatars. We're going to see whose avatar is better. And you can see what he's wearing from his avatar. You, it doesn't show your style, but it shows his style. And you can also to try him on. So I got my Grand Theft Auto shirt. I got some cool, I got some cool boots on. Got my gloves, my leather jacket, or my not leather leather gloves, my watch, my sunglasses. But maybe I want to see the, what the t-shirt with the gold chain looks like on me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Huh. How about if I wanted to try on some of his pants and some of his shoes? You know, I can see that. But I'm not going to save those changes right there, though. Let me go back into that. I want. I, hopefully I didn't save the changes because I don't want to be, ah, oh, shit. I'm wearing his high tops. Let's go back. Ah, there we go. There's a, actually in the top hand corner, there's a rewind button up here. See? Right here, there's a back button. So I didn't, I just noticed that now. So if I'm wearing his high tops, I don't want to wear his high tops. Boom. Right back to my boots. I like that a lot. So I think my avatar looks a little bit better than his. Mine looks a little cooler than his. You might think he's all balling over there. But my character. He's a pretty much a badass, but it's pretty fun. So if you want to, I don't know, start up, you know, your little club or your faction or something, you all wear the same kind of clothes, easy to pick their clothes out from here. Or if you want to try on some new stuff and see what your avatar looks like, I guess this is something people wanted. I'm not one of them, <laughs> at least not yet, <laughs> but that's something new that they have put in this Xbox uh, One March update reputation and rating interface changes now if we go into my profile everyone used to have a little ratings thing in the corner there as you can see i don't have any ratings in my uh on my my page anymore on my profile because i'm in the good standing so for this time around xbox live community is compared or is compromised overwhelmingly of players with positive reputations. Because, you know what, we all want to have fun, play some games, and we're not trying to, you know, screw each other over. And so the vast majority of profiles are rated good. As a result, they stay Microsoft at Microsoft or Xbox, we are changing the reputation interface to draw attention only to players who have been rated needs work or avoid me. For Xbox One Preview and Xbox App Beta members, good players' profiles will no longer feature reputation gauge. So, for me, because I'm a good player, I don't have a reputation gauge. 
However, gamers whose profiles our tag needs work or avoid me will continue to feature the reputation flag. So, something to note on, folks. That is something really big to note on. And a couple things here for the Xbox app because we are done looking at all the updates for the Xbox One. There's two thing, other things that are coming to the app as well. Most of these features are coming to both the Xbox One and the Xbox app on Windows 10. But this, these two are new for the Xbox app for Windows 10. I just want to cl- quickly go through them. And that is Gamer Score Leaderboard. In the Xbox app, uh, fans will be able to enjoy the same Gamer Score Leaderboard feature introduced to Xbox One uh, from the last month. Access the Gamer Score leaderboard in the Xbox app by navigating to the achievements section of your profile. See where you stand relative to your friends by comparing total Gamer Score as well as the biggest gains over a rolling 30 per- day period. A leaderboard for game stats will also be coming to the Xbox app. Visit the Game Hub for the title and the um, hero stats. Click on Achievements and see how you stack up against your friends. And also, Updated Feature section, the Featured Gaming section, um, the Recently Viewed Played Games area has been updated to Spotlight Games, Deals, Community Events, and more. And that's all for the Xbox app and Windows 10. So a lot of great new features and things on Xbox One here and also the Xbox One Store. I like the feature where I can just look at the achievements because I'm still playing Just Cause 3 now or I'm in the Just Cause 3 game. I can see this. I think that's pretty cool. I, instead of launching a sidebar app, this is pretty cool. I like how it's in the main sidebar here on the left-hand side. I can track, see how much how much more I have to do on my progress to get the achievements. I'm a big achievement whore, as you can tell. And I like that feature. I like to know how many achievements I need or how many more uh, percentage I need to get an achievement and track my achievements. Uh, For other things that I like from the store, I definitely like how I can just go to the Xbox 360 games, go into the store here, and if I don't own a 360 game or you know, a backwards compatible 360 game, I should say, and I want to get it, and it's not games with gold for free or anything, which most, a lot of these games were for free with games with gold at some point of time, or, you know, at some point of time, you could have got a few of them, like with other games. I like the notion that now when a game becomes a backwards compatible title for the 360, I can view it here, and I can click on it, purchase it, or... If I'm one of those people that, uh, you know, want to get games with gold and it's a backwards compatible 360 title, a new one in the store, I could just go here, go there. Oh, look at that. Xbox 360 title. That's pretty sweet. I like those uh, new add-ons. Those are my favorite add-ons. The third favorite add-on I would have to say before I end this video would definitely be the extended length of time to record gameplay. I wish it was longer. I wish you could set a time uh, limit of your what of your choosing, but I can understand. But maybe eventually they'll allow us to record like an hour or more in length of gameplay videos. Because people like me, we'd like to make longer videos and put them up on the internet or show people. But I can understand limiting it to five minutes. But I can under also understand they can update that as well. So if you got any more ideas or I don't know, questions or comments for me. This is the end of this sh- video. I know it was long, and I know I'm going to get a lot of comments that I'm saying um a lot or something that's going to bug you guys like the length of this video. But you know what? I like to be thorough. I like to make these videos for people that want to understand and get to new- know the new Xbox One updates that come out every month or every other month or whatever they decide to. They try to do it every month, but I can understand when... They might be holding back on an update or something. And this is still the preview. It should be coming out by the end of this month or the beginning of April sometimes, depending on if something doesn't go wrong in the updates, which they usually don't. So if you've got any comments or questions for me at all, feel free to email me at corecast2011 at gmail.com. That is corecast2011 at gmail.com. Also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at 
at Juju2Cast, the at symbol J-U-J-U-2-C-A-S-T, at Juju2Cast, and also you can tweet me questions and comments there. And like always, visit my website at Juju2Cast.com. That is Juju2Cast.com, the Juju2Cast network. And I am Mr. Mike, and I hope you enjoyed this Xbox One March preview update here. And I hope I did this video a little bit better, because, you know, I try to cram in the information. I know you guys want my videos shorter, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. So I'm Mr. Mike, signing out. Have a great day. I'm going to play myself some Just Cause 3. Goodbye. Goodbye.